Hello, uh, hello, hello. I'm Rashid, and uh, I'll be talking about open source Kubernetes and cloud natives from the eyes of a high schooler. Um, the plan is to uh, give you a place to start or improve upon being in the cloud native Kubernetes ecosystem, uh, the open source ecosystem in general, and also a place to start or improve upon contributing to projects. Uh, and yes, this is not just for high schoolers. <laughs> Uh, uh, you can still uh, take the ideas I talk about. Uh, I'm a student at the University of Toronto. I just graduated high school, so this will be like a retrospective. And I've been contributing to Kubernetes and open source for quite some while. The thing is, open source is vast. And uh, there are so many great CNCF projects. All of you might have heard of one CNCF project or the other. Some of you might have contributed to it. There are so many great CNCF projects. I couldn't even fit the uh, whole landscape in a single slide. Uh, there are so many contributors to Kubernetes. And all of this can make open source a bit intimidating if you are just starting out. Or even if you have been contributing, sometimes contributing to new projects can just get intimidating. One of the things that has motivated uh, me and could help you find your motivation to go into open source could be asking the question, can you impact the community with what you love? Uh, and this does not have to be code. It could be administration, documentation, contribux. There are great contribux groups within uh, Kubernetes, within CNCF, and it could be a lot more. It does not necessarily have to be code when I say with what you love. Uh, open source is also about learning, teaching, and learning. Uh, yeah, you, you could learn so much from uh, others in open source, from someone who reviews your PR to someone who comments, and you can also be the uh, and you can also uh, be the one to propagate that knowledge. It also includes mentorship and feedback. Uh, uh, you could you, you could get so much mentorship. I've I've honestly had a lot of mentorship. Uh, while contributing to Kubernetes and other CNCF projects, as well as gotten a lot of feedback. Some of the things uh, or w which have changed the way I think, not just code, uh, even going uh, beyond code. So uh, this can be pretty helpful for finding your motivation uh, in open source. And of course, there's the uh, networking and the infamous hallway track. If you have been at KubeCon, you can't miss the hallway track or any other conference too. I, I want to uh, talk about Kubernetes and CNCF being a great avenue for you to start your open source journey. And I say this because, uh, well, uh, not just because of the good first issues. There are many good first issues. Uh, if you are a new contributor, give it a try. But also because of great new contributor uh, activities by the Kubernetes and CNCF team. Uh, uh, this is one of the meetings where new contributors were highlighted uh, as to uh, uh, as to share their experiences and what they are coming in the community with some other uh, some other images about uh, meet and greet for new contributors and uh, how they can get involved uh, these are some pretty bold initiatives by the kubernetes and cncf ecosystem uh, which allows you to get into the project or uh, st make your first uh, jo uh, first step into open source. Makes Kubernetes and CNCF a great place to do that. Uh, and it's also because of the contributor code of conduct. This does not happen just due to incidents. Uh, this is not just due to chance that Kubernetes and CNCF are a great uh, avenue for you to start your open source journey. It's also because of the contributor code of conduct, which is uh, w uh, which is very well enforced throughout the ecosystem. Finally, I'd like to talk a bit about uh, some opinionated tips to help you make the most if you are starting in open source or, or even if you are, have been contributing to open source for quite some while. The first important tip, uh, in my opinion, is don't be afraid to ask. Just go up and ask someone. I've done that countless times at KubeCon. This KubeCon, last KubeCon, all conferences. I have done that countless times. Uh, in, in fact, uh, it is really interesting story uh, about how I got the idea for this talk. I went up to someone uh, at the last KubeCon, KubeCon Valencia, and I was talking up with him, and he was like, maybe uh, if you could share your perspective from, uh, about starting open source in high school and contributing so much, it could help others. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> That's how this talk came about. So pretty nice. Uh, the second thing is, uh, open source is not just about taking, which we already talked about, it's also about giving. Yeah, you should be able to pass your knowledge 
to newer contributors. Do that. Uh, uh, and finally, it's also okay to not know everything. I've been contributing to some projects and I wouldn't say I know every single line of code. And it's okay to not know everything. Uh, with that, I come to the end of my talk. Uh, that's it. Thank you so much.